And right now there's a lot of interest, but there is, is there enough vaccine to go around for younger kids? We're answering some of your questions tonight. Also, a pool of 20 is down to 19, with one juror dismissed from the Kyle Rittenhouse trial today. Plus, fewer goods and fewer drivers to move them. It's a crisis that likely won't be fixed by the holidays. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Make your appointments now. That's what SSM Health is urging after a busy day of taking calls about the children's Pfizer vaccine. The health facility says parents booked 3,000 vaccine appointments for 5 to 11-year-olds in just 12 hours. And around 8,000 children in total are signed up for vaccinations in the coming weeks. Those numbers show many parents want to step up right away to get their, chi their children vaccinated. That's in line with recent polling from Kaiser New News showing about a third of parents wanted one as soon as it was available. Naomi Coles joins us now with whether the supply will keep up with the demand. We all likely remember back to the early days of the vaccine rollout when it was carefully measured and we all had to wait our turn based on our ages, our conditions, jobs, and lots of other factors. Now, experts say that's not likely to happen now, even though the Pfizer vaccine for 5 to 11 year olds is manufactured separately with smaller doses in smaller needles. We're in a very different spot than we were a year ago when vaccines were first starting to roll out and we still had to ramp up production. We're not at that place anymore. We have ample uh, supply here in the United States and the government has uh, guaranteed that they've uh, purchased uh, enough vaccine for every uh, child in this age group to be vaccinated. That Kaiser News poll we just cited shows at least a third of parents say they'll be wanting to waiting to watch side effects in others, while the other third say they won't be getting one at all for their child. Now this Sunday on For the Record, join me to get more questions like that answered, as well as what experts expect as the rollout continues. Naomi, thank you. Teachers can get their COVID booster shots tonight in Wanakee. SSM Health partnered with the district to set up on-site clinics. This is a live look at Wanakee Intermediate School. The clinic will run until 7 o'clock tonight. And next week, students and children ages 5 through 11 will be able to get vaccinated at the school. The Aligned Energy Center is as versatile as it is big. That's been helpful during the pandemic, and especially now. Public health teams are working to quickly expand vaccine operations to start giving younger children their doses very soon. While vaccinators at the Align Clinic continue to fulfill appointments for booster doses, they're also preparing to vaccinate 5 to 11-year-olds starting early next week. Public health officials say their access to resources has made the change easier. We have been planning for quite some time, our team at Public Health, to figure out the best way that we can get as many kids vaccinated as quickly as possible. Appointments are available from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Wednesdays and Fridays. Let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast now. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canulti is on the weather patio. Gary? Well, getting that sunshine this afternoon is perfect timing to get temperatures a little warmer today than they were yesterday. But as we take a look at visible cloud track, we started out today with some clouds, and then we had the sunshine return for the afternoon. But you can see on Doppler track, no rain or snow really across most of the upper Midwest. Low temperatures this morning dropped into the middle 20s here in Madison, so not quite as cold as it was uh, the previous night. 26 with the low here to the southwest. Temperatures stayed in the lower 30s, and high temperatures so far today have been closer to the 50 degree mark. Madison, right where we forecasted, at 49 degrees, and right now temperatures are just below those highs for the day in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. By tomorrow morning, it'll be a little milder as well, with a low temperature of about 31, with skies becoming mostly clear, and tomorrow should be partly sunny, breezy, and a little milder still with a high of 53 and that trend will continue into the weekend and early next week with milder weather. I'll tell you how warm it'll get in just a few minutes. All right, Gary, thank you. Health officials are breaking down a timeline on when to vaccinate your kids so that they're ready in time for holiday gatherings. Children will not be considered fully vaccinated until two weeks after their second Pfizer dose. It's important to remember each dose must be at least 21 days apart. Parents eyeing protection by Christmas and Kwanzaa should make those first appointments by November 19th. The second appointments should be made the week of December 10th. So many of us have been worried about what happens as the weather gets cold, as everyone goes indoors, as those windows start getting shut in schools and ventilation gets worse. Having the kids vaccinated helps to stop that. 
The director of the CDC says even if your child already had COVID, they should still get both doses of the vaccine. As the Biden administration announces new rules requiring millions to get the COVID vaccine, doctors are testifying on Capitol Hill about the ongoing response to the pandemic. Skylar Henry has more. On the second full day that kids can get COVID vaccine shots, top public health officials were grilled about the ongoing response to the pandemic. Vaccination, as we have seen, decreases your risk of infection by sixfold, decreases your risk of hospitalization and death by tenfold. Republican lawmakers repeatedly pressed the witnesses about vaccine mandates versus natural immunity. Are you so convinced that the data is so compelling that natural immunity isn't as good as vaccination? If we don't know, that natural immunity confers protection against future infection, it's because we've decided not to look. The nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, again clashed with Republican Senator Rand Paul over whether the virus leaked from a lab in China. You won't admit that it's dangerous, and for that lack of judgment, I think it's time that you resign. He is egregiously incorrect in what he says. The contentious hearing came on the same day the White House unveiled new rules, which will require millions of unvaccinated working Americans to get the shot. All federal employees, federal contractors, and health care workers at facilities receiving Medicare or Medicaid have until January 4th to be fully vaccinated. People who work at businesses with more than 100 employees must also be vaccinated by January 4th or test weekly and wear a mask at work. Vaccine requirements are working. It's a hard sale to tell people who have had COVID that they're now under a mandate. More than two dozen states have already announced plans for lawsuits to block the mandates from taking effect. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Today in Los Angeles, many businesses, including bars and nightclubs, began requiring proof of vaccination to enter their buildings. You can find more information on the new vaccine mandate in our Channel 3000 app. It's free to download in your app store. A new warning from the makers of the Moderna vaccine. They say they're dealing with a production shortage. The pharmaceutical company says it's dealing with production and shipment issues. Moderna now ex expects to ship between 700, 700 million and 800 million vaccine doses instead of the 800 million to a billion doses originally forecasted. The company says some deliveries could be pushed back to 2022 especially those for exports overseas. Moderna plans to give priority to low-income countries. Health officials now say more than 750,000 people have died in the U.S. from COVID-19. Johns Hopkins University also shows over 46 million people have been diagnosed with COVID. The university says the U.S. has the most cases and deaths of any nation in the globe. It comes as President Joe Biden calls those eligible to get their booster shots. According to the CDC, 58% of the total U.S. population is fully vaccinated, and more than 20 million people have gotten a booster. A juror in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial was dismissed today after making a racially charged joke. The public needs to be confident that this is a fair trial. And it, I think even at the, at the very most, it, it, was a, it was bad judgment to tell a joke of that nature. Judge Bruce Schroeder said the juror made the joke to a deputy earlier this week about the Jacob Blake shooting. That shooting led to protests in Kenosha, the third night of which is when Rittenhouse was on the streets. When questioned about it, the juror claimed the joke had nothing to do with Rittenhouse's case, but the judge says it shows the appearance of bias. It's unclear what exactly the juror said to the deputy. Madison's Vision Zero traffic safety program has another eight years to reach its goal of no traffic deaths by 2030, but today we learned it is already making a positive impact. The city's traffic engineer updated us on Vision Zero's progress during the mayor's press briefing. He says the number of cars going more than 40 miles per hour within city limits dropped by 30 to 90 percent, depending on the road and the time of day. City crews have also placed speed trailers on various streets and reduced reduced speed limits on more than 24 miles of roads. We need to each play a role in resetting our safety culture here in Madison and being mindful of the other folks in our community and uh, using our sidewalks, our streets, our bike paths uh, when we go out and travel around. 
The traffic division is close to finishing a comprehensive road safety plan. Engineer Yang Tao said despite the progress, there are still far too many reckless drivers on Madison streets. The first statue of a black person outside the state capitol will be a source of pride for, quote, many people in Madison and beyond. Today, area black leaders met with Governor Evers to celebrate the long process for approval paying off. Construction was approved for a statue of Vel Phillips to go up outside the Capitol. She was the first woman and first black secretary of state. The governor considers the statue a moment in history that will provide a lesson to everyone who sees it long after we're all gone. Every year in the spring, fourth graders are coming to the Capitol. And a hundred years from now, some kid from Crandon, Wisconsin will say, Val Phillips, teacher, who, who is Val Phillips and why should we care? And that teacher will be able to give the, the first this, the first that representation. And you think about that 100 years out and coming back, there are going to be thousands of fourth graders that are going to be living in Wisconsin for the rest of their lives that will know who Val Phillips is and why it's important to remember her first and her place in healing the state of Wisconsin. Phillips, who died in 2018, was the first black woman to graduate from the UW-Madison School of Law and the first woman as well as black person to serve on the Milwaukee City Council and to become a Wisconsin judge. Quite impressive. Well, coming up at five, Minneapolis voters voted against a measure that would reform the city's police department. So what's next? We'll check in with the community to hear what they say still needs to be done. And then coming up tonight at six, it's become one of the most famous traditions in college football. Mark will explore how jump around got started. That's coming up tonight at six. The grand opening of the all-new Ashley Home Store of Madison is on now. Don't miss grand opening specials up to 65% off while they last. Plus, get a free gift and spin the wheel to win a $5,000 shopping spree. The grand opening sale is on now at the Ashley Home Store of Madison on East Springs Drive. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right. Visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. A celebration of life, love, laughter, and Fiddler on the Roof. At Overture Center, November 16th through 21st. Tickets at Overture.org. When winter gets tough, get tougher. Outwork it. Outsmart it. Chew it up. Spit it back out. Put winter in its place with the X-Series. Engineered for extreme. Visit your local Cub Cadet dealer for expert advice, superior service, and now exceptional financing options. Take advantage of the X-Series lineup today. To find a locally owned dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Get two terrific cover stories in this month's Madison Magazine. Introducing the first annual Amy Awards, honoring the memory of local entrepreneur Amy Gannon. Presented to five amazing women blazing new trails in business. And on the flip side, look back at 40 years of Best of Madison and the new Legacy Awards. A salute to local businesses that have been collecting dozens of awards for four decades. Read and enjoy Madison Magazine online and on newsstands now. It's time to get younger kids vaccinated. At 6, we'll show you how the Booster Clinic at Madison's Aligned Energy Center is working quickly to make room for youngsters. Also, more important questions answered on getting kids vaccinated. That's tonight at 6. 
News 3 Now's call for action has settled hundreds of area consumer disputes, but we can't do it without our dedicated team of volunteers. Would you like to join us? Contact Call for Action by phone or visit channel3000.com to fill out an application now. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Minneapolis voters rejected a ballot measure earlier this week that called for an overhaul of the city's police department. Community members are now plotting a course forward with the police department and the police union. Reich Chapman explains. It's a new draft of a memorandum of an agreement between members of the Unity and Community Mediation Team and the Minneapolis Police Department. Which talks about a police community relations council that has teeth, uh, mental and behavioral health and disability issues, diversity on the workforce, cultural awareness and sensitivity, uh, the duty of care in the Minneapolis Police Department. More than 70 action items. The hope is to engage community to see what stays and what goes to get to a final draft that serves and mutually benefits all communities. We have been at the table while others were pouring money in this city and doing dastardly things to divide us. The Unity Community Mediation Team has been at the table and has worked over a year and a half since the death of George Floyd. And we now present this document uh, to the citizens of Minneapolis. What's different this time around is MPD and the Police Federation are at the table taking part in discussion about reform. We thought this was a really good opportunity to bring this, you know, bring us as the union together with some people in the community and listen to what their, um, their concerns were with police. The plan moving forward will focus on transformation, reform, transparency, accountability, as well as consequences, both with MPD and the community. Right, we all have this common goal, right? We, we want the best officers in the state. We want to have a, a department that's trusted, that um, the community wants to to be policing in their community. But they can't do it alone. The hope is the 44% who voted against MPD and in favor of a Department of Public Safety take a seat at the table and join a discussion on how to move forward with police reform. Joseph Maldonado, better known as Joe Exotic, says he has been diagnosed with an aggressive form of prostate cancer. His story was featured on the Netflix docuseries Tiger King. Maldonado is currently serving time for a murder for hire plot. His attorney says his client has been undergoing medical treatment and tests for a host of issues. Well, let's get a look now at your certified most accurate forecast. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti is here. Hi, Gary. Hi. Hey, you know, a great day today. Once we got the sun out, boy, that really made a difference, even though uh, temperatures are still slightly below normal. But three things you need to know in the forecast. High temperatures will be in the lower 50s for tomorrow, and it looks like we'll be at 60 degrees or above for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of next week. Now, as we check out uh, the rain chances, they're going to stay very low uh, through the weekend and into probably Monday and Monday night of next week. The next chance of rain looks like it'll start developing now by Tuesday afternoon. The uh, big weather system that we're kind of looking at the end of next week. It's kind of broken up into uh, some smaller chunks and that just kind of stretches out the chances for showers. But they'll begin Tuesday afternoon and last into the end of next week when we could see a few flakes of snow mix in at times with the rain. But right now, take a look at Doppler track across the upper Midwest. Not a drop of rain or a flake of snow anywhere. But the U.S. drought monitor just updated uh, today, just released today and updated as of Tuesday. Still has uh, moderate drought conditions down toward the Illinois state line and around the Madison area. Now we're starting to see moderate drought conditions over about the northern third of Wisconsin, as well as parts of central Wisconsin and almost the rest of the, the entire rest of the state seeing uh, precipitation uh, below normal and uh, abnormally dry conditions. Still the worst of the drought continues out in the western portion of the country. Will there be any relief? Well, in the short term, the six to 10 day precipitation outlook from the Climate Prediction Center does call for chances for above normal precipitation through much of the northern and eastern portions of the country. This takes us through uh, the 14th of November. The uh, temperature outlook, though, calls for above normal temperatures through much of the country. Now that's mainly going to be in the first two thirds of that 10 day period. And then you can see the uh, uh, the actual temperatures here uh, for the eight to 14 day outlook getting back to below normal from Madison southward as that colder weather arrives at the end of next week and into next weekend. And below normal precipitation starts to work its way eastward across much of the country as the weather pattern calms down and the main storm track kind of shifts off toward the east. Temperatures right now a little warmer than yesterday, upper 40s across 
southwest Wisconsin, but the 50s not too far to our west, and then you start seeing 60s and even a 70 degree temperature up into eastern portions of Montana. On weather track, upper level wind still from the north, that's bringing in dry weather, but out to the west, as we showed you the last couple of days, that jet stream continues to push toward the north, and that continues to allow the milder Pacific air to move eastward across the country, and that will be the trend over the next couple of days. As far as the surface weather map, high pressure is just to our south, but there's a warm front out to the west, and while temperatures are relatively cool here, 40s to low 50s, out to the west, those temperatures climb into the 60s through the Dakotas. So for tomorrow, look for uh, partly sunny skies. It'll be breezy and a little milder. High temperature back up at 53 degrees, and that trend continues for the rest of the week into the weekend. 60 on Saturday, 64 Sunday, and 63 on Monday. We continue to push those temperatures up a bit in the extended forecast. But again, the shower chances now look like they'll arrive Tuesday afternoon, a slight chance Wednesday, a stronger storm system for Veterans Day with rain showers that could mix with some snow uh, Thursday night into Friday morning, and then maybe some snow showers from Friday night into Saturday off and on, uh, just a chance of precipitation, but temperatures definitely cooler as we head toward next weekend. As far as the roads are concerned, as we take a look at the uh, traffic uh, Beltline, right now some delays eastbound on the Beltline between about Monona Drive back toward Verona Road. Right now about a 20 minute commute on the eastbound Beltline from University Avenue to the interstate, 15 minutes going back in the westbound direction. Also some delays uh, heading uh, from Middleton to Sauk City, a 26 minute uh, trip there has some uh, delays around uh, Middleton and then downtown to Sun Prairie is an 18 minute commute. That's your news for now, First Horn Traffic. Gary, thank you. Have you started your holiday shopping? Well, coming up, why some companies say it's a good idea to get a head start. We'll be back. News 3 Now First Horn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Spa, spa, spas. The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show is this weekend only. Rows and rows of spas, hot tubs, and swim spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in stock models. This weekend only in the Exhibition Hall of the Alliant Energy Center, Madison. Menards has everything you need to give your home an update. Check out our great selection of Shaw flooring. From soft and luxurious carpet to durable laminate flooring and waterproof vinyl plank, all Shaw flooring is 11% off. Find your style with Patriot Lighting. The Kenzie Collection features a matte black and gold finish with clear glass for a clean and elegant look. Patriot Lighting is 11% off. Save 11% on everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. It's a fact. Two out of three Americans who qualify for Medicare do not receive all the benefits they deserve. You could be missing out. Now, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield introduces a free Medicare plan checkup to make sure you receive all the benefits you qualify for in 2022. Call 1-855-597-0884 today and receive extra benefits for a $0 monthly premium. Benefits like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. And to help you stay healthy at home, you can have free prescription drug delivery, online doctor visits 24-7, and free exercise classes. You can even receive money towards over-the-counter health items. Call 1-855-597-0884 today and feel confident you have all the benefits you deserve for 2022. You can receive extra benefits for a $0 monthly premium, like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. Call 1-855-597-0884 and make sure you're not missing out. I have worked at HuffCore for the last 36 years. HuffCore, closing the plant, moving production to Mexico. I gave my life and my body to that place. Ron Johnson pushed through a tax law that rewards outsourcing. Companies can bring profits back from Mexico tax-free. And worse, Ron Johnson profited personally from outsourcing. He has doubled his wealth since taking office. Tell Ron Johnson to stop putting his profits above our jobs. You call me devious, but you don't understand that all I am is a little mysterious. So what do you think? I love it. Spas, spas, spas. 
The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show is this weekend only. Rows and rows of spas, hot tubs, and swim spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in-stock models. This weekend only in the Exhibition Hall of the Alliant Energy Center, Madison. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in Olin Park. Organizers have started setting up light displays for this year's annual holiday fantasy and lights. Crews have been working in the park since Monday, installing holiday displays and lighting throughout the park loop. The show is free to the public thanks to contributions from several sponsors, including the Electric Group, which presents the show each year. The lights will be turned on November 13th around 4.45 in the afternoon and runs daily from 4.30 to 10.30 until January 3rd. Well, do your holiday shopping now. That's the advice of the owner of a trucking company who says that the trucker shortage in the U.S. will continue to raise prices and worsen the supply chain slowdown. As Camilla Bernal explains, despite efforts by the White House to fix the problem, many in the industry do not see a quick solution. Being a truck driver will be Ray Stewart's second career. I am a barber, licensed barber. The pandemic, the need for truck drivers, and a possible higher income motivated him to enroll in a truck driving academy. We've definitely seen a major increase. But despite the increase in future truck drivers, experts say it's just not enough to deliver your food, clothes, and especially now, your holiday gifts. According to the American Trucking Association, the industry is about 80,000 drivers short. My dad and my trucking company owner Will Sibrian sees it firsthand. I'm advertising every day. Weeks go by and I don't get a call. Truck drivers move 71% of the U.S. economy's goods. And the shortage is already impacting many other industries. If trucking companies stop, America stops. Everything that we consume the vast majority of things, whether it be cars, clothes, food, even food products. A lot of stuff comes from overseas. While President Joe Biden directed the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach to move to 24-7 operations, Cibrian believes it will not be enough. But it doesn't matter how long they're open because there's other issues that are preventing us from picking up driver shortages and equipment shortages. Creating a snowball effect. If you're going to do your holiday shopping, do it now because things are going to run out, it's gonna be scarce. Meanwhile, Stewart hopes to be behind the wheel by the end of the year. But he and others expect the shortage to remain for years to come. With the real possibility of disappointment this holiday season. Hopefully I can be on the road and actually making the money. In Los Angeles, I'm Camila Bernal. And we'll have a final check of your first worn forecast when we return. The grand opening of the all-new Ashley Home Store of Madison is on now. Don't miss grand opening specials up to 65% off while they last. Plus, get a free gift and spin the wheel to win a $5,000 shopping spree. The grand opening sale is on now at the Ashley Home Store of Madison on East Springs Drive. It's time to choose a Medicare plan. So why not choose a five-star Medicare Advantage HMO plan from Quartz? Starting as low as $0 per month, including medical, hospital, and prescriptions, and dental, vision, and hearing aid benefits. Learn more. Call us today to find a plan that fits your budget and your lifestyle. Quartz offers the region's top-rated Medicare Advantage plans, and they're now even more exciting. New for 2022, the Quartz Cash Card gives you the freedom to spend up to $460 annually on a variety of health-related products and services. And Quartz gives you access to an all-star team of high-quality providers featuring UW Health, giving you the five-star treatment you deserve. Because at Quartz, you're the star of our five-star Medicare Advantage plans. Don't wait. Call now to get plan details from Quartz or speak with one of our enrollment specialists today. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. 
Important healthcare announcement. If people tell you your TV is too loud, or if listening in some environments has become difficult, we are requesting your participation in a special program called the 30-Day Challenge. Hearing Life Hearing Centers are seeking people with hearing difficulties to evaluate a new digital mini hearing aid now being released. To take part in this event, you must call. Please get a pencil and write down the number below. All people with hearing aids or hearing difficulties are wanted to take part in the 30-day challenge evaluating a new high-tech device that sits discreetly behind your ear. This hearing aid is Bluetooth enabled and is rechargeable. All hearing assessments are performed at no charge for those taking part in the challenge. Participants will try these hearing aids for 30 days. Call the number below and take the Hearing Life 30-day challenge. Here's what we're working on tonight. The promising news about the success of a vaccine preventing one of the most common cancers in women. We'll have all the exciting details. The CBS Evening News is just minutes away. And Gary's here now with a look at your forecast. Looking pretty nice out there. Still have a little sunshine. Uh, there's live view from the WISC uh, TV Skycam. There's the Platteville Queen Bee Radio Skycam. A few more clouds on the western horizon. Temperatures are in the upper 40s to lower 50s. 52 right now in Boscobel, 52 in La Crosse, uh, 48 here in Madison. 31 for the overnight low temperature. Skies remain mostly clear overnight. Tomorrow a little warmer. High temperature at 53. Then up to 60 on Saturday, 64 on Sunday. Low 60s on Monday. Some rain chances next week, maybe mixing with some flakes of snow, especially from Friday night into Saturday of next weekend. All right, Gary, thank you. The CBS Evening News is coming up next. Hope to see you back here for News 3 at 6.